tracking a mission's historic return to Earth, a year of science on board the space station, and the safe arrival of the station's newest resident astronaut, a few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. The return to Earth of OSIRIS-REx, our first ever asteroid sample return mission is nearly complete. On September 24th, as the OREx spacecraft approaches Earth, it will release a capsule containing about 8.8 .8 ounces of sample material collected from asteroid Bennu. Following a parachute-assisted landing in the Utah desert, the capsule will be retrieved and eventually shipped to our Johnson Space Center for examination in a pristine curation facility. The sample will be unveiled during a live televised NASA news conference on October 11th. September 21st marked a full year in space for NASA astronaut Frank Rubio. Since arriving at the International Space Station, he has worked on dozens of experiments. These include an experiment that grows tomatoes using water-based and air-based techniques rather than soil, an investigation that could enable in-space 3D printing of functional human organs for transplants, and more. Rubio is scheduled to return to Earth on September 27th after a U.S. record 371 days in space. On September 15th, NASA astronaut Laura O'Hara and two cosmonauts safely arrived at the space station, increasing the number of residents aboard the station to 10. This six-month stay on the orbital outpost is O'Hara's first spaceflight. In celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month, we are releasing new content for Universo Curioso de la NASA, the agency's first Spanish-language podcast. A five-episode season kicked off on September 19th with new episodes scheduled to be released weekly. For more about Universo Curioso de la NASA and other NASA podcasts, visit nasa.gov slash podcasts. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.